so in case you don't know what you just saw, that last 40 seconds actually took 40 minutes. And that was resin infusion process of this 27 Stewart liner or cockpit sole of the boat turned upside down, of course. So this is the build process we use on all the Stewart boat works and all the Isla Mirada boat works. And it's a superior method of building boats. Uh, basically, the whole concept behind infusion is we want to have the exact calculated ratio of resin to fiberglass. A lot of hand-built boats end up with a very uh, out-of-balance ratio with too much resin. Resin itself is heavy and it's brittle. It has no strength to speak of. It requires, the strength is all based on the resin being impregnated into the fiberglass cloth. So an infusion, it's actually being sucked into the cloth and through the, the fiberglass core that's specifically designed to be infused. And what you end up with is the exact ratio that is, that is specified by Naval Architects for the ultimate in strength. And that is you end up with 40% resin, 60% fiberglass and, and core material. Many hand laminated boats, although they've done it for years, are the exact opposite. So you end up with an excessively heavy boat um, and you get a boat that sometimes, because it's hand laminated, there'll be a dry spot and a guy will just pour more resin in randomly out of a bucket that's pre-mixed and he'll roll that out with a roller and they'll say, well, great, that's a hand-built boat. But the reality is that, that hand laminated boat, the actual weight of the boat can be drastically different from one boat to the next. And that strength to weight ratio also can be drastically different. You eliminate all that with infusion. It's engineered. This part here is engineered to take 32 gallons of resin into its lamination schedule and that's exactly how much is put into the big batch bucket before the infusion process starts so when it's done the bucket's empty and the boat is completely infused throughout the park that's how to make a better boat a stronger boat and you can feel the difference when the boat's running through the water it's just stiffer it's quieter running through the water. It's just a better build. Um, this vacuum bag will remain on the part probably for two to four hours. Today we might leave it on a little longer because it's a little cooler today. Um, one thing I want to point out, and not to bore you anymore, but that this is not the same as vacuum bagging a part. Vacuum bagging a part is where you do a hand lamination process essentially then you put a bag over it to suck any excess resin out of the part. That's completely different than resin infusion, where you saw at the beginning there was no resin on this part whatsoever. Thanks very much for listening. If you want to learn more about resin infusion, please stop by Stewart Boatworks here in Stewart. We'll show you parts being done in process. Thank you, boys. <laughs>